My boy Yeezus has done it again. He rushed the stage at the Grammys as Beck was accepting his Grammy for Album of the Year. Kanye West feels like Beyonce should have won it. Rushed the stage on Taylor Swift. Rushed the stage on Beck this past Sunday. People have been talking about it all week. One of those people is cornerback Brandon Browner for the New England Patriots who says, peep who he tried. Beck and Taylor Swift, real tough guy. If only I could have been Beck for one night, Kanye would be rapping through the wire. Tough talk, Brown. <laughs> Welcome to Brash Tag. I'm Doug Chapman. This is Jordan Cornette. We talk about hot button topics and try not to piss too many people off. Let's get right to it. Brandon Browner saying he would have put hands on Kanye if Kanye rushed the stage on him. What do you think about it? Well, Browner, it's not about who he tried. I don't think he was going up there to try and actually physically fight somebody. My bigger question is, why is Kanye West at any award show sitting front row by the aisle? It's like you're trying to do, like, I dare you to go up there and do something when the award doesn't go to who you think it should go to. Look, it's entertainment. Kanye West is an entertainer. He's doing something to remain relevant. Yes, his music speaks for itself, so he doesn't have to do all these other things, but the guy enjoys speaking his mind. And what I've noticed about society nowadays, it's old school still. People don't like those who challenge conformity. They're like, why won't Kanye just behave like everybody else? That's not who the guy is. That's why people eat up what he does. It's never going to change, dog. Yeah, Br uh, Brandon Brown needs to worry about first uh, checking receivers off the line of scrimmage. Because Chris <laughs> Matthews Shots ate fired. him up in the Super Bowl. That's the first thing. Second is, Brandon Brown, I guarantee you, you've got Kanye West in your iTunes, exactly. on your iPad, exactly. in your car. I guarantee you listen to him. And Talk third, to him. this is what Kanye does. If you go back and listen to his music, he's always been a firecracker. And he always goes out looking for publicity. He's been unpopular for a while since he did the thing to Taylor Swift, but his album's still selling. He's got a shoe dropping this Saturday. New album coming out. Next week on his good music label, Big Sean is putting an album out. Kanye knows what he's doing. No such thing as bad publicity. He's out there. He wants y'all to be talking about it. Doug, you were a professional athlete at one time. You know how people talk about it. They say, are professional athletes and rappers and musicians, do they really have beef? And is that where it's coming from with Browner potentially? Like, maybe he just doesn't mess with Kanye because he's a rapper and you know how athletes feel about him. No, maybe he's just trying to get his name out there. Like I said, everybody's trying to do something to get their name out in the limelight. Brandon Browner might say, I want some more yeah. publicity. Maybe I want some more ads. Maybe, maybe I want to do some more commercials. If I put this out there, maybe somebody might pick me up. Everybody's got an angle. Kanye's got an angle. Everybody's got... We weren't talking about Beck last week. We're talking about him now, though. Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, we're talking about entertainers. We're talking about entertainment. Look, they get a pass for however they behave because people are still going to consume what they do. Chris Brown, yep. domestic violence, domestic assault on Rihanna. Everybody thought he'd disappear. He'd never sell another album. The guy's performing at awards shows. He's in the forefront of everything. Album selling through the roof. People talk about these guys. Bad behavior is never going to stop with them because they know you're going to enjoy their music. Like Browner, we're all listening to him whether you like him or you hate him. And entertainment, no such thing as bad publicity, my Absolutely. brother. Absolutely. Amen, my man. That's all the time we got here on Brass Tag. For Jordan Cornette, I'm Doug Chapman. Keep it tuned and locked in right here to CampusInsiders.com. For more of me and him, more Brass Tag. Keep it right here.